Look at, look at, look at, look at here, folks. Hank Aaron, home run king, who defined racism, has died at 86. According to a report, Hank Aaron, who faced down racism as eclipsed Babe Ruth as baseball home run king, hitting 755 homers and holding the most celebrated record in sports for more than 30 years, has died. And he was 86 years old. The Atlanta Braves team for many years confirmed the death on Friday in a message from the chairman, Terry. No other detail were provided. But let me say something about this Hank Aaron stuff, bro. As y'all know, the racism back in the day was real hectic. In order for you to even become a professional baseball player, you had to be very, very good. And just think about this. The racism was so bad to the point that, you know, these guys were very talented. You know, they had their own league of baseball players in the black league. And when they did this, this segregation, immigration thing, it only bought the, the black people, the black baseball players to the white folks league. Because they seen another way to explore the blacks. As y'all call it, they call it slavery. But they only used it to their sports. So they got all the black people. They found something the black people can do real good. They can hit balls real good, run faster, jump higher. And they use people like Hank Aaron to make money off this guy, man. That is it. I mean, just like all the rest of the uh, black uh, baseball players that was coming up way back in the day. You know, a lot of them, bro. They use these guys, man, to get that bread. And on through the years, it just got even more full of black people that's why you cut on sports you see nothing but black people playing basketball baseball football whole star line of black because this is the new slavery era you know they used to take slaves man they used to put them in a big old ring and let them fight man to the death because they call it money makers you feel me and now on to this day they still are money makers in a different way let's just say for for instance Hank Aaron was making $10 a game right they paying him like $10 a game if you think about it guess how much money that these billionaire owners are making off Hank Aaron they making quadruple that by they giving him chump chain still and he a real good baseball player to pay to pass Bay Ruth of is amazing. Like this goo this dude was really knocking every ball at the park. For real. And now Hank Aaron is dead at 86. And I'm not calling him a sellout. But he could be a sellout because he sold out to go play ball. The other race. You feel me? During the hard racism times back in the way back in the day when nobody really had no rights other than that if you can play good if you was a good sports player then yeah you can play professional sports and you had been dang good because at first they didn't want the black people in the league you know what i'm saying they was the other players said we wouldn't want to play with these you know what you call them but the owners were seeing dollar signs. They were seeing talent. They were seeing black folks to make their team play better. So when you look at talent instead of color, the money comes in because these black guys was way more talented than other races. And that's facts. But Hank Aaron, he dead at 86, man. Lived a long time. Uh you know this dude had to deal with a lot of racism from the public people you know riding bikes i mean buses and you know riding trains man you know he probably couldn't even ride in the front of the bus for somebody calling him you know the opposite word and i know this guy experienced that but his teammates 
they had to deal with it too. But when you good, you get used. Point blank period. I mean, they put you in the lead, you get used up. That's it. But let me know what y'all think about Hank Aaron died at 86, man. Let me know in the comment box. This is the messy robot. <laughs> and I'm out.